what she can do to profit. I remember when we lived in Kentucky in the late 80s before we moved back down here. She went to some kind of little secondary school. And she brought home her little keyboard thing and you could type on it. We played with it more than she did, but she was trying. They told her to get her typing speed up. But we kept playing with her so much. But she tried that for a little while. She tried a lot of stuff for a little while. But this lady here, she, she went and searched for a field. She bought it. She said she going to plant stuff and sell it. 17 says she girds her loin with strength, and she strengthens her arms. So she's getting ready to try to make her ship come in, you know. And that's how we all do. We want to get rich quick, but she was trying everything. If she had to save money, if she had to get two and three jobs, and we know she did that too. She worked nights sometimes when we were young. Number 18 says she perceives that her mer merchandise is good. Her candle goes not out by night. She kept the light burning night long. So she knew she had a good thing going. She produces quality products. Number 19 says so she lays her hands to the spindle and her hands hold the distaff. So all of this was a part of spinning wheel, showing her industrious and her ability. So when she liked to do something, she did it good. She found something she could do, she would do it good. She liked to talk like my Aunt Glenda said, she could do that good. <laughs> She can talk about nothing. Uh, keep you on there for hours. I remember Teresa, she said, is she saying anything? I said, yeah. <laughs> Are you saying anything? I said, yeah. <laughs> she had a whole lot to say. I'm sure Randall Williams could testify to that. 20 says she stretches out her hands to the poor. Yay. And she reaches forth her hands to the needy. She always was trying to take in a stray camp, a stray friend. I even got aggravated sometimes. I said, why are you letting them stay here? She said, they need a place. I said, but you still got everybody here at home. What you want to do? She said, they need a place. So she did not fail to help, to help the poor and the needy. And she did this because she knew that God honors such work. That's what the Word tells us to do, to give a cup in His name, to feed the poor, to clothe the, clothe the ones that are clothesless. And she knew that was part of the Word. 21 says she is not afraid of the snow for her house. For all of her house are clothed. She made sure she, that we had clothes in the winter time. She made sure she, that we had shoes. She sometimes skip out, especially when it comes time for school. I remember a day before school one time, she had to run and buy us a pair of shoes for school the next day. <laughs> she had let the electric bill go. She said, y'all need a new pair of shoes. She done bought us pants and shirts. She forgot to buy the shoes. So she had to let something go to buy the shoes, so she done that. I know right away you have different memories, but we all got our memories. And that's what we're going to hold on to, memories. Until one day, that song said, when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing there will be. Tread the streets ago. So we know this virtuous woman is that her husband is known in the gates when he sits among his friends. They know his wife. They know she's a hard worker. She made fine linen. She sells it. She delivers it. Look at this virtuous woman. She made the product. She sold the product. She delivered the product. And that was everything my mom did. She would, she would do it all if she had to. So strength and honor are her clothing, 
and she rejoiced in the times to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom. A lot of times she spoke. She had some wisdom in there. And her tongue is the law of kindness. She was one of, always wanted to be kind. Even though this virtuous woman, whose price is far above rubies, it is said by the Holy Spirit to be a captain of the industry with striking and startling abilities. Still, her mouth is a mouth of wisdom. She always had a wise word. She would give you her thoughts, her opinion. She let you know. So we thank God. The bottom scripture says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lead not unto thy own understanding. And in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. So when you don't understand, even after we leave here today, if you don't understand what it happened, why it happened, lean on to God. In all your ways acknowledge him. In all your ways. Don't give God some of your ways. That's what a lot of us do. We hold on to little parts and bits. We say, God, i got to keep this for a little while. But God wants you to acknowledge him in all your ways. And he shall divert your path. So we thank God. You know, he, he was a good thing to give us, my mom, and make her a virtuous woman. Not for me, but for the whole household, for the whole family. Everyone that knew her. I really thank God for her. And we thank God for how he helped to raise her up. You know, she didn't have an easy life growing up. But he kept her through it all. Yeah. Through it all, God will keep you. If you want to be kept, God will keep you. And I thank God for that. You know, he just uh, cast your care upon him for he cared for you. So we know a lot of times she, she was calling on God. Even if you don't do it out loud, she was calling on the inside. You know, a lot of times we, he said he know your thoughts, he know your heart. So a lot of times he know what's in your heart before you even speak it. <laughs> and he tells us even before we speak, he's already answering. We thank God. That's the kind of God we serve.